you want to know why the EU can't quell the debt crisis, I've got an answer for you, and it comes from Thomas Meyer, the chief economist at Deutsche Bank. Here's how it goes. Passengers will hardly remain calm when the pilot of a four-engine plane announces that he's just lost two engines and offers another round of drinks to passengers as consolation. Quite an image, isn't it? Tom is a bit of a rebel in Europe because, like German Chancellor Angela Merkel, he says the only way to solve the debt crisis is by ultimately forcing creditors, i.e. investors, to share some of the pain. A propo proposal, rather, EU leaders are going to start taking up today in Brussels. Tom is in London. He's usually in Frankfurt, but he's live with us this morning. Tom, good to see you. Let's talk about Germany and the amount of leverage they have over the EU. Does Germany win when it comes down to figuring out what to do with this debt crisis? I think for the Germans there are really two essentials um, uh, that make up the Eurozone for Germany really. And one essential is that every country is responsible for its own fiscal affairs. Uh, and another essential is that the ECB does not engage in monetizing government debt. And I think in those two areas the Germans will be very insistent. Everything else I feel is negotiable and I think the Germans are willing to go a great length to help the Euro survive amidst this onslaught of the markets. So you think that ultimately Germany is going to take a softer line in these negotiations behind closed doors than they have in public? Not on the essentials. I think the essentials are really to be kept. But I think uh, Germany can make concessions uh, as long as the nature and character of European Monetary Union as a limited liability society is maintained. I think the Germans would not go along with uh, assuming unlimited liability for the finances of their partners, nor would they go along and throwing the ECB into the fire and to, bow, to, to buy unlimited bonds of countries that can sell their bonds in the market. These are essentials. I think the other things can be discussed. Let's go back to our conversation with Thomas Meyer. He's the chief economist at Deutsche Bank. He was telling us before the break that you just can't turn the ECB into an unlimited liability company, have it buy oodles and oodles and oodles of sovereign debt issued by these shaky borrowers such as Italy, perhaps, Portugal, Spain, Greece, you name it. Thomas, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I do want to know ultimately what you believe is going to restore confidence to sovereign debt investors in the EU. There's been a lot of talk of restructuring and the proposal that maybe creditors share the pain starting in 2013. Why not now? I think it is absolutely essential now for the officials to present a well thought through um, and a plan for where we are going to go with EMU. Uh, and that includes um, the uh, publication of the uh, features of the so-called European Stability Mechanism. Uh, that's a new organization that is going to manage adjustment programs, fund adjustment programs, and if necessary, also restructure debt. So we need to have clarity on what this entails. Secondly, we need to have mapped out by the officials a very clear path from how we go from the present to the future. It's the uncertainty about how the new regime will look like and how we're going to get there, which I think is weighing okay. on, the mar on the minds of the markets. Okay, I have, to, I have to interrupt here. You really believe that ultimately it comes down to uncertainty, that if they present this coherent, well-thought-out plan that, that you just made a case for, that people will begin to, uh, to buy back Spanish bonds and they're not going to yield, you know, uh, the, the yield isn't going to have a five handle on it and heading towards seven? I do believe that if you um, really uh, map out your intentions, explain clearly what you want to do, uh, then, then, then you can ease the market tensions because I think um, EMU uh, is working if you do the right but thing. Thomas, but Thomas, we have discovered... Yeah. What happens if it doesn't work? What happens if they present a plan and it makes sense on paper but the market doesn't buy it? What's the alternative then? Well, the alternative is that the ECB is forced to keep buying bonds uh, at an ever-increasing pace. And while that would ease the tensions in the near term, I fear that it would lay the ground for an unraveling of EMU later on because the basic principle would be violated. Do not abuse the ECB as a source of funding for government debt. So it's, therefore it is very important, I think, that they are now coming up soon with clear uh, plans and a roadmap on how to get to the new state of affairs.
Tom, thank you for joining us. Thomas Meyer, uh, the chief economist at Deutsche Bank, he's got plenty of insights into what's going on inside the ECB, not to mention the German government. We like it when he's here on the inside track.